This video is going to talk about the idea of evidence and then the idea of how you're going to show evidence in one way in this class. And so this word evidence is hopefully a word you're hearing in a lot of your classes because evidence is really important when we talk when it comes to um, thinking deeply about the kind of things we're doing in school and thinking deeply about the things that we believe are true or things that we know are true and the things that we think are not true. So what is evidence? Evidence is just proof that an idea or claim is true. It's the thing that everybody could look at and agree and say, yep, totally, that makes sense. That proves that that idea is true. It's something that um, most anybody could look at and understand and then understand like, yeah, okay, cool. That shows that that idea is true. So in this class, you're going to use a certain kind of evidence a lot of the times, and that evidence is going to be a screenshot. A screenshot is a way for you to take a picture of anything that's on your screen. Now, there's two different ways to do this. I'm going to show you what's probably the easiest one second. I'm going to show you the harder way first. The harder way first is to take a capture of everything that's on your screen. And the way you take a capture of everything on your screen is to go hold control on your keyboard, then hold alt, which is kind of like skip one key over and hold alt. So you're holding those two. And then you look all the way across your keyboard and all the way to the top of your keyboard and you're looking for a little teeny tiny key that says PRTSCN. PRTSCN. That's print screen. And so while you hold control and you hold alt, you tap PRTSCN. And if you do it right, nothing happens. And then what you do is you go to the start menu, which in your case, if you want to find the start menu, you got to swipe from the side of your screen and search. So start. For me, I search down here. For you on the computers that are in my room, searching down here won't work. You have to go over here and swipe your finger from the side of the screen, and it'll bring up like a purple bar. And on that purple bar, you'll see a start, you'll see a search button, and you can click search. And what you're looking for is paint, or any program that can have a picture put into it. So you click paint, and then you hold the control key, and you tap the V key, like for Velcro. And then you paste it in, uh, whatever's on that screen. Okay, that's the hard way to do it. Here's the easy way. Move your mouse over to this side of the screen and then swipe your finger from that side of the screen to get the purple bar to come up and then tap search. And when you search, you got to look, you type SNIP. I'm going to do it down here in a way that will not work for you. And then you, what you find is snipping tool. And snipping tool, when you click new, is a way for you to click and select any portion of the screen that you want to have to back something up or to be proof that you did something or just to, for fun, whatever. You can use snipping tool for whatever you want. But in this class, a lot of times I'm going to ask you to like use a snipping tool to show that you did something. And when you do, make sure to consider what would be good evidence. For example, if we're on Canvas and I need something that shows like on a specific show me that you're at this assignment right here, well, make sure that when you snip, you include all the required information that would prove that you actually did the thing. Just a lot of times people take snips and it doesn't show that they did the thing because like they forgot to put their username in it or it doesn't really show evidence that they did the thing. So when you take a snip for evidence, make sure that anyone who looks at that snip, it would be very clear that that's proof that you did the thing you're being asked to do. On a side note about screen snips, one thing that they bring up is the idea that anything you do online is also potentially never private. I know it seems like kind of a jump, but follow me here. Anything you post ever online, or any, and cell phones can take screenshots too, anything you send anybody else with a cell phone, anything you post ever, even if you delete it, might last you for the rest of your life. And the reason is, anybody who sees that public thing you post could take a screen snip. And now all they have to do is go file and save, and then they have the screen snip of forever. So you might delete that thing, you might regret posting that thing, or you might regret writing that thing, and you might delete it, but that person now has proof you did that. And it's up to them to get rid of it, and they can just make copies of it, and they could post it on the internet. So be very careful about the things you post online, because because of the snipping tool, everything you ever put online ever could potentially last you for the rest of your life. So be very careful about that. So to finish this assignment, here's what you're going to do. 
You're going to answer this question. What do screenshots have to do with the reason you should always think carefully about what you post online or send on a phone? And then you'll be done with this assignment.